Becky Sheeran from Talk Becky Talk and you guys I'm sure know all about her but I don't know too much so I'm here to find out a little bit about you and your channel so thank you very much for fitting me in today. Thanks for having me. You're pretty busy. <laughs> it's always a busy time for us because I don't live in London so I come down to London and now everything with the channel has become more and more I'm finding that when I come to London the days are back to back now which is good but I'm also <laughs> manic. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Talk to me about your channel then and then we're going to go into your background because we're quite similar. I know, well I basically um, run Talk Becky Talk which is an online beauty and lifestyle channel and I talk all about beauty but my channel is more about me and my life and my family, my mum's online, my sister's online. Yeah, so I hear I it. Know. Gosh. <laughs> and so we do all of the kind of things that come with beauty, you know, it's not just what's on the outside, it's what comes within and we put a lot of our life online as well, the good and the bad. So I started off doing cooking and then beauty and now it's kind of turned into a lifestyle channel and a little bit about me as well. So we'll go into more kind of on the reality side of things, which I guess is where you're sort of going. We, you, we've seen the change in some of your videos. But talk to me about your background, because you're a journalist, followed a very traditional media like I did. Um, why the change? Well, I was working for the BBC full time. I always wanted to be a journalist. I trained to do journalism and I loved my job and then one day I was running my channel on the side and the BBC saw it as a conflict of interest so they gave me an ultimatum you either shut your channel down and all your social media to do with it or you leave and I wow. had to ask myself if I woke up without my channel how would I feel and I knew that shutting the channel down was losing a part of me and a part of my life and so many people that I connected with so I left the BBC and I think everybody at the time thought I was mad <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, the BBC, you know, it's not like an everyday outlet, is it? <laughs> and so I was really forced down an avenue of doing it full time. And I, honestly, it was probably one of the best things that happened to me because it meant that I could put all my love and attention into that channel. And it grew to be what it is today, which is more about my whole life. So rather than being tired and posting videos when I have the time in between a full time job, I can actually plan and do videos mm. that I really want to do and put so much more care into the videos. Hey guys, it happened again that I. I have been doing a little bit of retail therapy. I actually went to Boring Birmingham and you guys know that I'm from Nottingham so it's about an hour away from me and I love it there. I'm there quite a lot. I love things that are just close together, especially if it's raining. So because you have been such a support to me, particularly lately, and I know most of you love shopping, I wanted to do something special for you guys. So I'm going to be giving 10 of you £25 to spend at Boring Birmingham. So my journey was from a journalist and watching the online world grow and making a decision that I did think there was a huge space to grow and that online was growing so fast that I wanted to be a part of that and it's still journalism it's just a different side of it but if you'd asked me 10 years ago would I have been doing this rather than journalism <laughs> no but if you, had, if you had told yourself then that you would have quit the BBC <laughs> yeah I like, do on YouTube full time <laughs> I, know, yeah. I, know, I, know. I know and it was a really hard decision at the time and I miss a lot of that job but I know that the, the wrong thing would have been to shut the channel down Any regrets? No regrets at all. Um, my regret is maybe that I didn't put everything into my channel right from the word go that I wish perhaps that I had at the time. Um, but now I'm doing it full time so there's no regret there because I am giving it the TLC yeah, yeah, yeah. now. But I do, um, I don't regret leaving and you can always go back to something but with YouTube once you've got a channel it's hard to get that channel yeah, back absolutely. again. So I definitely don't regret going. Were there ever any points, because you've been doing it quite a long time, were there ever points where you thought, I shouldn't have done this, or I'm tired, I don't want to do it anymore, because it's a lot of work, you know, people think, I think sometimes that the videos just go on there, you film it on your phone, yeah. it just goes on there, but we know, it's, you know, from a, a back end point of view, there is so much that goes into this. I think the hard work side of it was something that I always was ready for, because I'd worked so hard as a journalist before, but the thing that got me down and sometimes did get me down was when I was first doing it full time was some of the negativity and hate that I got and I would have days where I'd post a video and it wasn't a, my best video and I would get so much negativity that I would feel so alone and in a newsroom or as a journalist you have managers or people that you can go to but we're doing YouTube you don't have any of that so I would be sat at home completely alone trying to deal with the fact that everything I've worked on for the past day 
it wasn't as good as I could have made it and it was so hard and at times like that I did almost wish I had a structure back again or, or mm. a manager to go to that I could have a good cry yeah. but then I thought you know what nothing comes easily and I've got to keep working through it so do you I mean what kind of advice would you give to someone who's considering starting out because I imagine that you've seen the change in YouTube you know, quite a lot you know even from my point of view I've seen a the way it's perceived yeah um, it's considered more profession now it yeah. never was before but it's also extremely competitive yeah and you must get frustrated sometimes when every man and his dog wants to sell. <laughs> you know how do you become a youtuber I I think it's the key question that everybody asks I mean about every single one of my friends now has a YouTube channel <laughs> oh, really? um, yeah. and I think it's something that everyone wants to do um, definitely the when I was saying the only regret I had was that years ago when I first started I do think it was a lot easier to get your channel seen and the video qualities were far lower and they were getting bigger hits now the quality has got so much better there are so many more channels you have to work so much harder to get your channel seen and viewed and it's harder now to grow for me and probably for everybody else than it was years ago mm -hmm. but I think the original things are still there for people sticking to content that you know you're good at and you enjoy making your videos the best that you can and really the top tip that I would give to people to grow would be to reach out to creators that are similar to you and cross collab because it's so hard to get your videos searched nowadays so by collabing with someone else you're cross sharing each other's audience and you're guaranteeing people see your videos mm. whereas if you just upload and you hope for the best <laughs> there are so many videos out there that you need to find ways you know joining up with a company that can promote your video or joining up with a brand or joining up with another creator is such a great way to get your video seen like so I would say to you look to see who you are what do you love doing what do you want to do and if you want to have a YouTube channel and you want to talk about things that you love then I would say do it because you only live once and the online world is expanding so much now media hubs see YouTube as a plus because they want you to come on their shows because you they know the audience is coming with you so I think the media world is slowly understanding mm. how great YouTube can be yeah. and I would say to you if you're passionate about something there is so much credibility as well to YouTube now that yeah. I don't think people will laugh anymore. They did at the start, but I think now it's taken seriously, I hope, or more seriously than it was yeah, a few years ago. Right, that's it, I quit my job. <laughs> Just leave. <laughs> that's the video. That's, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Full time YouTuber. <laughs> but you have to just do what you're passionate about and I you have to ask yourself that question. Mm. And don't live with any regrets. If you've always had the thought of doing it, yeah. do it now. I would say follow your heart and go with what you feel is right to do. And if you just put everything into doing a YouTube channel and you put all of your passion into that, then I think your audience will grow with you and they'll start to love you and you'll see how your channel can grow from just being so passionate about something.